Good morning. It's, uh, it's freezing cold out here. Uh, working on the trail that uh, I'll show you in the build video in the next little while. Uh, this is just a quick intro to the build of the Kona Remote 160 that I have built and have been riding over the last little while. Uh, enjoy, and here goes. So it's here, and we're gonna build this one up with a couple of really cool little additional parts. The, uh, some different handlebar, different stem, uh, potentially a DI group set from Shimano, the 11 speed XT DI group set. Um, and we'll probably end up putting different wheels and tires on it eventually, but, uh, sorry, I'll, the Royal we. Uh, I'll start putting that stuff on, so we'll see how it goes. I'm going to stick it together and let's watch the process. So this is just like my normal building process. I uh, I will always stick a seat post in a bike to start with. Wow, this is different. Now we're gonna have to get used to the uh, new toolbox. Try to sort everything else out so it's kind of intuitive. Get the toolbox. So there we have it, unboxed, uh, you can see this is the seafoam option with kind of a pink orange colour, frame's very bulky, that's where the battery sits inside, so it's, uh, it's quite different. So the upgrades, the initial upgrades are going to be a raceway stem and bar. <laughs> Going to be the first of the uh, Shimano equipped e bikes that I've ever ridden. Uh, the other e bikes that I've ridden have been um, Bosch. And the Bosch system works really nicely, although uh, product support in Germany is terrible for a product made in Germany. And uh, it's kind of a little bit of an abnormal feeling because it's such a powerful kick from the motor where the Shimano system is said to be a little bit easier and, or a more, bit more natural so that's going to be a cool thing.
sorry, K Edge uh, Garmin mount. I like to record all my rides, and the uh, the Garmin mount fits really nicely on the bike, so it fits onto the. You've got a really sweet Garmin mount right in the middle of your cockpit. So, um, one thing that's seriously important to me is my nuts. Um, I've ridden like a ton of uh, stage races and uh, yeah, long, long marathon races and stuff like that. And one thing that an e-bike does is it affords you more time in the saddle but that can also afford you more pain in your groin. Um, so I'm not a big S fan, Specialized fan, but this saddle is like the most comfortable saddle. So I run one on my uh, XE bike, which will end up on the new uh, Process 134 CR that's coming uh, because that bike is for sale. And this is actually the saddle that I rode Joe C with last year. It's super, super comfortable. It's like, yeah, that uh, numb nuts and ass pain and stuff like that just doesn't happen. So yeah, it's a product that I, I, I pretty much stick with. I don't know if there's something better out there today. Um, there's all kinds of companies that do body geometry style setups nowadays, but um, yeah, I'm gonna run this on the e-bike for now until somebody tells me better. It's pretty much stuck. I changed the bar, it's a higher rise carbon bar, I've put a different saddle on, I've put ESI grips on, I've put the uh, Garmin mount on, I've uh, put my orange flat pedals on because I try to ride flat pedals more in winter. Um, so yeah, we're ready to go. Um, but it is basically a stock build. I do want to put in the DI build kit, um, but it's going to take a little bit of time to figure that one out. So for now, I'm just leaving the cam, the um, the bike as it is. Um, I'm gonna ride it a couple of times, basically in stock configuration. I actually have never ridden Eagle before, so 12 speed is new. So we'll give try 12 speed a whirl, but I'm pretty confident that I probably end up back with the DI. Uh, or ultimately, I'd love to try the Box 9 speed group set. The one with a very, really wide ratio, it's a 1150 or maybe even a, tw a 950 cassette, but it's 9 speed so it's a hell of a lot stronger and will probably handle the abuse that e-bikes tend to dish out on drivetrains much better. So uh, with any luck I'll get one of those to test in the course of the next year and I'll put it on the bike and I'll give you guys some feedback on that. <laughs> 